How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some scary recordings that are bound to haunt your dreams. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Reddit user Rising Theory caught this piece of eerie footage shortly after his father passed away. Losing a parent is never easy. However, he never expected that the death of a family member would lead to scary recordings that would bring him a bit of internet fame. It all began innocently with a child's toy. Rising Theory's son loves to play with his large plastic flashlight that blinks and flashes with bright colours. The strange thing about the toy is that it doesn't only flash when the child's playing with it. At random times throughout the day, the toy will turn on while just sitting on the shelf. This gave the Redditor an idea. He pulls out his camera and focuses on the toy as it rests on the shelf in the child's playroom. If there's someone in here... Then he asks that any spirits in the room give a sign that they're there. Shockingly, the toy turns on moments later and begins flashing its bright lights for several seconds before turning itself off. According to the Redditor, this toy does take quite a bit of abuse at the hands of his two-year-old son. So damage to the electronics could be to blame for the toy's ability to turn on and off at random. However, the timing of this particular incident makes him think that there could be something paranormal happening. The toy's strange behaviour began shortly after the Redditor's father passed away. Could the father's spirit be using the toy as a way to communicate that he's still around watching over the family? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. According to Redditor, the Bat Chick, residents of the neighbourhood in Lessness Abbey Wood in Kent UK are no strangers to scary recordings. The neighbourhood sits near the ruins of the old Lessness Abbey. Stories surrounding the ruins say the area is haunted by the ghost of a monk who used to be a resident of the abbey. The ruins are also said to be haunted by the spirit of a young girl. It's said that her heart was buried beneath the ruins of the old abbey for reasons unknown today. Considering this eerie history of hauntings, it's unsurprising that numerous residents of the area have come forward with scary recordings of bizarre happenings around the neighbourhood. This particular video was recorded on a CCTV camera posted outside a house in the area. The video begins with a black and white shot of two cars parked in the driveway and a few trash bins scattered around. A few seconds into the video, one of the trash bins begins to slowly move forward in between the two cars. After a few slow stops and starts, the bin gains momentum and rolls out into the street. Some who have seen the video believe that it can easily be explained by gravity. The bin has wheels, so if the driveway was uneven, the bin could easily roll down. However, others have pointed out that there are only two wheels on the back of the bin. Trash bins are usually designed so the weight of the contents will prevent it from rolling on its own. Others have pointed out that because the bin stops and starts numerous times and ends its roll by making a sharp turn, it couldn't be moving simply because of gravity. Could one of the Abbey's mysterious ghosts be interfering with this bin? According to YouTuber Athion and The Rock, something strange is happening at the Caldera City office. The CCTV cameras that monitor the office have been turning out some seriously scary recordings, some late at night, long after the staff have gone home for the day. In the first video, we see a shot of a cluttered office. Several desks are in view, each covered with piles of office work and personal trinkets. Everything looks normal for the first few seconds of the video. Then, mysteriously, a small toy car resting on one of the desks begins to roll across the surface, stopping just before it falls to the ground. There's no one in the office this late at night, so workers are perplexed as to how the toy could have moved.
A second video was recorded in the bright light of day from a different CCTV camera. We see a downward shot of a worker's desktop as he's settling in for the day's work. Before taking his seat, he places a thermos full of coffee to the right of his computer monitor. After resting it on the desk for a few seconds, the full thermos suddenly jumps a few inches to the side, almost spilling the hot liquid. The worker jumps from his seat, perplexed at the strange occurrence. If you slow the footage down, there doesn't appear to be anything manipulating the thermos. No one who works in the office has any idea what could be causing the strange events. However, considering this possible entity's ability to manipulate the physical world, it seems that a poltergeist could be the culprit. Reddit user Thurin uploaded a video that shows something terrifying in the night sky. After a great deal of arguing, viewers of the video still have no idea what could have caused the bizarre events captured in these scary recordings. The video was taken in the late evening. The sky is dim and full of low clouds. However, something unnatural is providing a bright light that illuminates much of the surrounding area. A bit above the horizon, a huge oval of light flashes brightly in several pale colours, completely lighting up a section of the sky. The flashing goes on for a while, but the oval of light remains more or less the same size throughout the strange event. Moments later, the light disappears and everything returns to normal. Some Redditors who viewed the video believe that the light is most likely coming from a malfunctioning electrical transformer miles away. However, others who have worked with electricity are certain that no transformer could cause such a massive flash of light, at least not without causing a huge amount of damage that surely would have made the local news. So what could have caused such huge surges of light to brighten the night sky? Could it be extraterrestrial in origin? Could it be ghostly electromagnetic activity? Or could it be something even more terrifying that no one's seen before? Twitter user Conspiration ESP uploaded this terrifying footage captured by CCTV camera. A bizarre figure has visited this residence late one night and it has viewers seriously questioning their perception of reality. In scary recordings captured from a variety of cameras, we see a creepy person or creature running on all fours around the property. The camera never captures close-ups of the figure, but it appears to be a cross between a human and a dog. The entity moves on all fours like a canine, but when it comes closer to the camera, its body appears to be that of a human. Its skin is hairless and pale, but its head seems to be darker in colour. Because of the appearance of the creature's body, some are apt to believe that it's simply a human running naked through the night on all fours. However, the way it moves seems to rule out that possibility. The human body is built to walk upright, and no human could easily run with such speed and agility on all fours. There are other eerier possibilities that explain these scary recordings. Perhaps this is a human, but one possessed by some sort of animalistic demon. Another possibility is that the recordings show a lesser known cryptid called the Dogman. This creature, much like a werewolf, is a cross between a human and a canine. Unlike werewolves, dogmen live permanently in their in-between state. Over the years, there have been numerous sightings of the so-called Dogman. Although witnesses have been terrified by the encounters, none have been harmed by this elusive cryptid. So whatever theory you believe, human, Dogman or demon, they're all just as terrifying as each other. Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. Before we take a look at some terrifying footage a security guard captured in a soda factory, 
remember to hit that subscribe button then tickle that little bell icon there. That way you'll get notified when we upload our scary and mysterious videos. Also remember to pulverise that like button if you're enjoying our content. On the YouTube channel Oxlack Researcher, viewers are regularly treated to bizarre videos of creepy occurrences. This particular video recorded by a security guard at a soda factory has given quite a few viewers nightmares. The security guard was working the night shift at the empty factory when the strange occurrences began. He was patrolling one of the factory's bathrooms when he thought he saw something unusual lurking in a dark corner. He ran from the room and grabbed a camera to hopefully capture evidence of something paranormal. Returning to the bathroom, he describes his initial harrowing experience as he moves slowly through the darkened hallways of the factory. No mames, wey, no prende la puta luz, wey. After turning one corner in the bathroom, he quickly retreats and begins reciting prayers to ward off unholy entities. No mames, wey. Hay alguien, wey. A la verga. In a slower replay, it becomes clear that he has reason to be frightened. Just around the corner is a ghostly white face peeking out from the darkness. It's hard to make out any features, but the face appears to be floating in a dark shadow, hovering several feet from the floor. Although we can't see it clearly, something about the entity's expression appears menacing. The video ends before we find out what happened after the security guard retreated for the second time. The face in the shadows has made several viewers terrified for his safety. This entity is truly the stuff of nightmares. A la verga. No mames. If you can't get enough of the old slapped ham, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out this link on the top here for a super scary video. Otherwise, this playlist here is full of all kinds of creepy stuff that'll keep you entertained for hours and hours. Now remember to follow us on all our other socials as well. There's links in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.